Okay, guys, I'm going to do a cold start on this 1978 Chevy C10 step side bed truck that I call Old Dookie. Hadn't been started in a while. It's been sitting back here in the garage. So, give it a few pumps and we'll see what happens. I hate buzzers. Dookie's kind of cold collar. Come on, buddy. I'll have to let it warm up a minute because... It likes to die. Anyway, uh... I've said this before, but all old trucks and old cars have their own little combinations, I guess, about start. I'm going to move old Dookie up to the front because, well, I'll tell you when I get up there, I don't know if you can even hear me really over this truck. I sure do like this seat. This is comfortable. Angie Dixon done a wonderful job on it. So much better than it was. I didn't realize how bad it was. And this dash was terrible too. It was terrible. It looks so much better now. Anyway, I'll let it warm up for just a minute. Let's see if it's idle. I know. Come on, buddy. Once it gets warmed up, it's okay. It's turned out to be a nice sunny day, but we're supposed to get, in the next few days, around three to four inches of rain, so I'm trying to get things... If I'm going to move anything out of this backyard, I have to do it while the ground is dry, so this is why I'm doing this. Uh, I think I'm going to be bringing my 57 Chevy truck home and I want to make sure that I get it in a garage so I can put the 57 up in the front of the house in a garage and Dookie can sit outside for a little while. I don't think you're really going to hurt this truck a whole lot. It's already pretty bad off. In case you're just rambling around and happen to stumble across my video, it's a 78 Chevy truck with a 71 307 in it out of a Nova and a 350 Turbo out of the same car, 71 Nova. Oh, Duke, used to be a long bed. Now it's a short bed. It was that way when I got it. My buddy had it and was taking it to the junkyard. It had a, somebody before me and before my buddy had put a 5.3 in it. And uh, my buddy bought it for the motor and transmission, the 5.3. So, he was going to haul this off for scrap. And I talked him out of it. So, I had this old wore out 307 and 350 turbo transmission to put in here. And I've been peddling and spending money on it a little bit. Not a whole lot. Let's see if it'll run. Yeah, I think it'll idle now. Anyway, that's how I wound up with the truck. I just hate to see one go to the scrapyard. I don't know what it is about me, but I just hate to see one go to the scrapyard when all it really needed, well, all it really needed, you know, wheels, tires, motor and transmission, that, that's enough right there. But anyway, I got it because the exhaust was good on it. I knew the wiring was good because the guy had been driving it around. I knew the headlights, you know, everything worked electrically, which which means a lot to me because I don't know how to do that. I should have wanted to screw up and burn my old, ve burn my old vehicle down, so... Let's see if we can ease around here to the front. 
Not yet. Maybe. This thing's still cold. It takes a while for this truck to warm up. Let's see if we can get around here without getting marred up. The ground's dried up a whole lot. So I'm glad of that. Just get it positioned in the right pull in spot there. Might let it run for just a minute and charge the battery. Gotta do something about them leaves on the gutter up there. I got those gutter guards on, but there's no need in doing it really till the wind dies down. I'll let it sit here for just a minute and run. That'd be good for it. Warming up a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Anyway, uh, as I said, in case you're new, it's a 78. And uh, my wife done put this writing on here for me. Just just because I, I liked it. I've done this part. Talking about the mowing business. She done the lettering on the tailgate for me. This is supposed to be grass and weeds, by the way. <laughs> My first time to ever do it, so I, I'm not too good. Anyway, pretty rough old truck. Let me see if I can lift the hood for you. Hang on. Just an old 307. Nothing, nothing special about it. Hang on. Man, I get them Robo Cops. Uh, Robo Cops. I'm gonna shut this hood. I get those robo calls all the time. My goodness, I get tired of them. Three or four times a day. Sometimes more than that. Usually when I'm trying to eat supper. Anyway, I uh, thought I'd show you old Dookie here. Everybody said it looked like, you know what, so named it old Dookie. Nothing special about it. But it is a good running old truck once you get it warmed up. But as I said, it used to be a long bed. Now it's a short bed, and somebody put this step side bed on. So, that's where we're at on that. Um, you might can see the inside a little bit better since I have got it out of the garage. Isn't this seat really nice? I like this coverlay dash cover. If you ever want to put one on, a coverlay dash cover on your square body truck, please go back through my video history where I'm putting this one on and the one on the 84 C10. You can kind of pick up some tips of what to do and what not to do if you're putting one of these on. To me, it turned out good. I had the worst dash I believe I've ever seen, which was on this truck. Went to the jet yard and got that steering wheel. So everything kind of matches. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can show you this. This is just for a joke trying to put modern conveniences in it. Can you see it says Chevrolet on the tailgate? I always do that on my step sides. For some reason when you look in the rear view mirror it, it reads plain Chevrolet. Okay, appreciate you watching the video. I got me some rubber mat and stuff that I'm going to try to test fit in this 71 C10 truck. Big turd. I got Dookie and Big Turd. And I noticed something. Maybe you'll notice it too. Talking about this 71. This 71 right here has its den in the door. Well, my 69 uh, C10 truck, the step side in the backyard, has a dent in the same spot. So it must have come back and I'm thinking it must have come back and hit the fender or something. I'm not really sure, but I noticed that the other day. I thought, well, I've never even noticed that before. 
anyway talking too much hey y'all have a good day please subscribe leave a comment and uh you know give me a big old thumbs up let me know you watched the video let me know what you think about old uh old dookie here and uh i'm on instagram primer is best and facebook please subscribe it sure would mean a lot to me and uh, I hope y'all's having a great day. I'm having a beautiful day. And great day. I'll see you later.